You know, the thing about football is they're hidden behind helmets. But even in the toughest men, there are things that they geek out about. <laughs> now, you look at Fred Warner on the football field, and he's an absolute savage. You look at Fred Warner in person, he's a baby-faced pretty boy at 25 <laughs> years old. I mean, you know, so at times, you get a little surprised by the look, right? Yeah. I've seen Fred Warner before in my life, but to watch him play football is to know an absolute savage. Thank you for joining Multifaceted, my friend. Absolutely. Yes. You the, sav- you the your true beautiful. savage, so I appreciate yeah. you coming through and... Uh, you know, we we just talking shop. You know, yeah, just yeah. Having a good time. In your beautiful home uh, out in California. You know, you play for the 49ers. Mm-hmm. And one of the more storied programs in the entire history of the NFL. Mm-hmm. What has that been like to, to live in the Bay Area and have that rabid fan base that the 49ers have? Oh, my goodness. It's been... It's been a dream, a uh, dream come true, honestly. I mean, I, you talk about I'm a San Diego kid, always been on the West Coast. Uh, you know, I watched I watched the Niners growing up. I also watched, used to be the San Diego Chargers, now they're the L.A. Chargers. Yeah. Um, and it was, you know, to be able to stay on the West Coast and experience now the Bay Area, it, you know, people talk about how different it is from, from Southern California to Northern California. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's so amazing. I mean, I love it up here. I, my, me and my fiance, we live out here now, and we love it. Um, you know, I, I could – all the fans, like you mentioned, we have one of the best fan bases in the world, in my opinion. Obviously, I might be a little biased, you know, <laughs> no, but, hey, I, but listen, I, hey, but listen, I mean, you hear it. You, you hear from different people. Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're a Niner fan or not. You know that we, we just rock, you know, the, the, the Niners rock with each other. So, uh, it's been great. I'm a Saints fan. I mean, oh, you know, I did. Vikings, I'm sorry. Ah, 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 go, go, but listen, listen. She, if you get a chance to hit Kirk Cousins, by all means, <laughs> like, but, <laughs> just cut it. Nah, I'm, okay. a Saints, I'm a Saints fan, and we 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 are home to one of the best linebackers in the entire NFL, Demario Davis. He's he's outstanding. I will say, and Quan Alexander too. Quan Alexander's the man. He left that's my boy. Yeah, because hey, he came home. Right, that's my dog. Quan that's my dog. Alexander went with the good guy. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, he ah, the good guys. Listen, but, I mean, he. <laughs> Yeah, we've he, got a great linebacking boy. core. Yeah. But what you have done since you got into the league, you have not missed a start, right? You signed a massive contract extension last year. Um, you are now ba- building roots here in the Bay Area, playing with the 49ers. Playing with the 49ers also brings rivals, mm-hmm. right? And a lot of success because mm-hmm. what people don't understand, I've never seen a team that is so intent on throwing their quarterback away when the quarterback has led you to the Super Bowl and the NFC Championship in two of the last three years. Sure. But this fan base is so rabid, good and bad. Mm-hmm. But one time that it was really good was last year in Green Bay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my. Let's I mean, get to it. What, what, you, what, what you want to know? What you I mean, want to know? <laughs> How y'all did that in Green Bay? Yeah, yeah no, yeah. That, that's by far. I will always remember that moment, um, that game, playing – Zero degree weather, you know, on their home turf, you know, Lambeau Field is such a historical, I mean, anything, monument, it, it just, obviously yeah, it's played yeah. where football's played, but I mean, just the history behind that. Mm-hmm. Uh, in one of the biggest games in your entire life, the playoffs, Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, like, yeah. bro, like this, that's exactly what you dream of. That's what yeah. you want to do. That's where you want to play football. Yeah. Um, it, it's in those moments. And so. Uh, that was really special to come out with a win in that one. I honestly thought after winning that game, I'm like, oh, we got it. You know, we're really? going to go. Yeah, I thought, I thought we were going to go. But then you played the Rams in. That yeah, was yeah, the yeah. game, too. Yeah, it yeah, was. was. And they and they deserved it. They deserved but I got to be that, honest that with got. you, though, man. I think it, 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 I'm so, it's – sorry, Jay. Yep. I know you – oh, we're supposed to – I got to be honest with you, man. <laughs> okay. Good game. Yeah. Y'all, on, as, as y'all have done on so many occasions, the defense, keeping the game. Mm-hmm. But by the end of the game, everybody's so tired. Yeah, Jimmy Garoppolo's under so much duress, uh-huh. right? So it's like I, I understand the disappointment and the upset, but the 49ers as an organization, as a defense, as a collective, mm-hmm. y'all played a good game. Yeah, and it just wasn't the day. Correct. And you know, and you think about all those prior games that we played against them. I mean, we had, we were on a I think a six game winning y'all was streak. Y'all beat them dudes every time. We were on a six game winning streak, you know, and that that our matchup with them is just for some reason like just like how it is with Seattle and us. Like they kind of had our number, you yeah. know, over the past couple of years, right? 
and it's just because of the matchup for some reason. You know, we both play similar styles, and being in the division, we we obviously all know each other really well. Yeah. Um, you know, and so like you said, like they they got us that day. You know, they were the. It's better always team. scary whenever they uh, you win the first couple, mm-hmm. and you're like, I gotta beat these dudes again, Jay. Yeah. Ahead. So the thing is, is that I totally feel you about people having your number. When y'all beat Green Bay, it really I have one of those single <laughs> tears because as a Viking He's fan, a Viking Aaron, fan which is Aaron Rodgers right. has been terrorizing me sure. since he I know you know started calling signals out there. <laughs> right. So please continue to do that. <laughs> yeah, but, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I, let's just stay on football. All there right. is a new Madden coming out. I want to ask you, what do you think your rating is going to be in Madden, or what do you what do you what do you expect it to be in Madden? Mm, man. So I know, okay, let's go back last year. Mm-hmm. I know they gave me a 94. That's high. Right, well earned. Which is, that's high. Well, that's a good number. That's, well that's, that's a good a, number that's for a, a linebacker. That's a decent number. Yeah. I'll that's, give one it a, decent, that's one I'll of give the highest decent. numbers in the game. I'll give it a decent, right? Like it's yeah. a, it, Obviously, the goal is to try to be that 99, right? Yeah, yeah. In that club. You want to be in the 99 club. I know Bobby has has gotten in that 99 club. You know, I'm sure other guys in the past have gotten 99. I think I got to be at least... I mean, I had 94 last year. I got to be at least 90, 95, 96 now. Yeah. All right? Like, I mean, yeah. it's going into year five. Like, yeah. I've, I'm established. So I'm, I'm going into a big season. Like, I got to – you got to step – you got to start me off right. You yeah. know, it's crazy because when you look at what you're doing, that actually matters. Yeah. I remember when we did the EA Sports UFC game, and you had the five-star athletes, and I'm looking around like, man, when am I getting my five-star? <laughs> right. Right? Right? So it actually matters. <laughs> For sure. To be a part. Sure. Remember Michael Thomas, yeah. the great Michael Thomas, uh-huh. got into the 99 club, and he went crazy right. based on, yep. on that. Yep. Now, in sport, right, a lot of times we are – uh, on the front line, right? You're one of very few Latin guys uh, yeah. competing at the highest level in the, yeah. in the, uh, the NFL. Mm-hmm. Uh, does that? What does that mean to you? Because I know as an athlete myself, seeing someone that kind of looks like me gives me the idea that I'm going to be able to go there. There you go. And that that's the biggest part, I think, really. I mean, I, I'm, you know, there's a lot of diversity in my background. My mother, she's Mexican, uh, French-Canadian. My father's from Panama, uh, also African-American. So... You know, there's there's a lot of different um, different cultures I'm representing when I step out mm-hmm. on that field, and so like you mentioned, uh, if, if, I, if I could have a, a, a young kid out there that's looking at me, thinking he looks he looks like me, he looks similar to what yeah. to, to who I am, I can do that. You know, and that's that's the, that's the biggest part is leaving your le- when you want to you talk about your legacy mm-hmm. and the impact that you leave. You know, how many lives can you impact when you say when it's all said and done, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I just put you on the phone with one of the kids from a wrestling team. Mm-hmm. Dude will never, he'll never forget that. For sure. It's those little moments like yeah. that, right? Put a smile on the kid's face. All right. That was dope. So we're here, though. We're here for, to find out the nerd <laughs> yes. inside of you. Sure. And Jason is like itching. Right. <laughs> yeah, he's he's like, itching to talk. Enough, he's like, of, this, uh, enough uh, of this football uh, talk. Let's, I get, to, talk let's get to I the real stuff. Some, I love me some football, right. but. Yeah. Let me ask you the, the burning question. Are you more of an MCU guy or are you more of a DC Universe guy? That's easy. MCU all day. Okay. You know, and not nothing against DC, right? Yeah. But I'm I'm huge Spider-Man. I'm, right I'm, I'm yeah. going to say that right, right off the jump. Spider-Man. You like Spider-Man. Right Spider-Man right. is by far my favorite superhero. Was that the greatest Spider-Man ever the last yes. one? Absolutely. Because, I mean, you, had, you how could it not be when you've integrated all you three, know, all of, three them. of them, right? We spoke about that, but, like, the people in the crowd were going crazy. Oh, yeah, you had, you, yeah. Did you lose your mind? I lost my mind. For some reason, I kind of had a feeling that it was already going to be that way. Oh, are you only because the only because spoilers? No, no, no. I didn't watch any spoilers. <laughs> I, I did not watch it the day it came out. So some, I kind of heard some, you know, some chirps uh, and some things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that might have ruined it for me a little bit. But yeah. it was still just as... Just as amazing when I saw it, you know, Amazing Spider-Man. Just as amazing when I saw it. Yeah, show. yeah, right on. With the Mar- with the Marvel Universe, right? There are so many moving parts, right? So when Endgame ended, mm-hmm. I was like, I, I kind of almost felt like sad, right? Because I was like, what's next, right? There were so many questions right. as to what's next. Then you got Wandavision, you got yeah. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, you got yeah. all that that moves into this next phase for sure of what they're doing. Yeah. We get to Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. What do you think of the Doctor Strange? I mean, so I was just the look on his face. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, get to Doctor Strange. Like, we get to I don't Dr. know if that's Strange. good or bad. Like, yeah. I don't know what, what we're getting. Well, at. What, what, what did you think of Doctor Strange? Um, you know, it was it was a good movie. I, I you know, like we talked about before, Doctor Strange isn't one of my favorites. Yeah, which yeah. is you know, which is which is 
It's I was about to say it's strange. That's <laughs> Which I mean, you know, is um, he can do so many different, like I mean, just insane things, right? But I mean, I don't know. For some he, reason, he just doesn't. He's not that guy. Yeah, he just because not he's that just guy. not that guy. You know, just, yeah, but they've kind of like got a lot out of him. Yeah. And, and honestly, oh yeah, they got a ton out of him. They've got a ton yeah. out of the character. Yeah, yeah. It's not like sure. you, when you first saw Doctor Strange, you're like, okay, this dude's gonna be kind of like. In the like background, like, like, what yeah. are we doing with a yeah. Hawkeye? Like, Correct. Like, yeah, Disney Hawkeye's Plus the guy that just kind of shows up. Yeah. and yeah. does his thing, right? He's cool for, sure. for like fifteen minutes of the whole three-hour sure. movie, yeah. but now yeah. you're giving Doctor Strange two hours. Yeah, and then you start bringing back dudes like Reed Richards from the Fantastic Four. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, is probably the most uncool superhero <laughs> of all time. I mean, <laughs> he got tore up. He got tore up as soon as he came on the screen. He was out of there. That's what made you me know? mad about. They give no we respect to this dude. It. Yeah, I was saying like, why they would you do that? Didn't even put up a fight. Like, like it was like just boom, 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 done. Like, but it's like it's almost like it's almost like they have they have and, it, and we like it's almost like they have made a decision within Marvel yeah. to make sure the Fantastic Four is never cool. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's just what it is, especially right there. Like after that. seeing that, come yeah. on, like that's. That's, He's that's the smartest rap. human alive. Yeah. I think that movie was more about WandaVision, like, yep. more than, than How badass was she, though? Oh, my gosh. Dude, like, Scarlet Witch was so crazy. You yeah. fin- did you finish WandaVision? No, I didn't. I didn't Dude, even get to finish it before I watched nuts. the movie. Yeah, You should have watched all of WandaVision. It had so much. Yeah. Because the story, like... Can I spoil it for you? Yeah, you might as well. Fred, I mean, it's been a while. Now. I <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm so Fred, slacking. So, Fred, watching it, yeah. you think, oh, man, Wanda's so happy, Vision's back. It was never real. Wanda had trapped an entire community inside of a bubble. (laughs) All these people were being held hostage, Fred. (laughs) And I believe it. And now after watching Doctor Strange, I believe that. Yeah. Because of what happened in the movie and how evil she was. Nuts. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah. Game of Thrones? I have never watched Game of Thrones. Wow. Yeah. No no time to start like the present. Like the present, right. I just never gotten around to it. I'm one of the few. Didn't like it. No, I just haven't even gotten around to Never it. Never tried. Mm-hmm. Too young, too much fun. It was going on when you were in college. I mean, there's people my age who, who are just in love with it, and it's the greatest thing that ever has touched yeah. the earth. But I just, I've just never just gotten, gotten around to it. But I, I ask myself this question, right? Kid from San Diego. Mm-hmm. I go to school at BYU. I mean, it's as fun as it gets. <laughs> How could you possibly have time to go and watch Dr. Uh, Game of Thrones, right? Because you have BYU. all the time. You have all the time in the world, right? Because you're not you're not doing all the extracurriculars at BYU. You have all the time to watch all the shows. You are partying man. as much as anyone is the most party <laughs> campus on the, in the country. That's right. Come they, on, they, they rated us the number one yes. party school. In the no country. chance. You went to they, BYU. They did. Yeah. You got to be kidding. I'm making a joke here. Number one. No, that's for real. You're such a liar. Don't look it up. Fred, no, no way. Do we just Fred, know Fred will not do that. I, I might have to Google that. Yeah. There is no right. chance. Yeah. There is yeah. no chance I know. that, I know. dude, be Brigham Young University. Brigham Young, the Brigham. finest. Yo, you so, like and we, we, read, we read Bama in his house, too, now. My, my fiance, she went to University of Alabama. Oh, right so we're at Bama too. Hey, tell Nick Saban to stop crying. Roll, roll I mean, Tide. Hey, I know, I know. He got the whole Nick Saban. He everybody the, do what he doing. And a and beef right now. But <laughs> listen, Saban wanted the ghosts. He know, is yeah, the ghost. That's, that's yeah. undeniable. He is the ghost. You been saying yeah. he's a go to college? Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. There's nobody for like sure. Nick Saban. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over Spurrier? Sure. Over <laughs> Spurrier, <laughs> go home, son. Over, uh, <laughs> you can't be doing Bobby stuff like that. Oh, man. Bobby Bowden? I don't know, man. This is got They got titles, but like... This dude has like six. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. He, I think it's the nobody's number. like nobody's like him. The number, yeah. We got some big movies coming up, right? Okay, I know it. you said you do date night every Friday. Right. Thought about going to the movies. Yes. Was Top Gun Maverick the choice? Boom. Already watched really? it. Yeah. What'd you you saw think? it? Yeah, I saw it last week. What did you think? Probably one of the best movies I ever saw. Come on. Now, I haven't seen it. Now, oh, you haven't? Okay, good. But you well, didn't I'm tell about me. I'm about to ruin it for you. My bad. I thought you saw it. No, I got invited to the premiere. Oh, but did I didn't you? go. Yeah, in New York, they oh, invited you me blew to the premiere. Really? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no. Have was, you seen the original? So that was the thing. So I was scrolling Netflix and I see that they got the Top Gun on there. I'm like, oh, that's, that's okay, whatever. And then, I, and then I realized they got it on there because Top Gun 2 was coming out. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, babe, we got to watch Top Gun. The first time, I've never watched it. So I'm, I got to watch it. So I watched the first one. Fantastic movie. So then, boom, we go over, we watch the second one, even better. So, wait, wait. Better than the original. You know what? Very rarely do Listen. people say that. <laughs> Very rarely do people say that the, the second movie's better than the original. So, Top Gun Maverick, now, go on record here. Go on record and say it. Okay. 
You just said better I than did, the original. I did. I did say you gonna walk it back. Original. No, I'm. I'm not walking it back. I'm gonna say it's better than the original. But that's only because I'm just. I'm a young cat. You know, I like the 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 um the graphics, yeah. the the special effects. You know, mm. all that stuff. It it makes you feel more. It's more of an immersive experience. Okay. Yeah. When okay. it because of because of the uh you know the technology involved okay. in the second one. That's all I'm gonna say. Right on. Is there anything you're looking forward to that's going to be dropping soon as far as like movies wise? Or you just kind of just kind of take it as it is. I kind of I kind of just go with the flow. But um, I was one. I don't I was I, I thought you were going to bring up some movies that might be coming up because yeah. I'm curious. I, I got, I'm always looking to see like, OK, yeah. like what what to look forward For to me. Jurassic World Dominion. OK, yeah, Perfect. that's a great. Are one. you are you into the Jurassic I'm World? I'm into it. Are you a dino? Were you a dinosaur kid? <laughs> I probably was. I, I love I mean, I like dinosaurs. Was, yeah. I loved them. Really? I loved dinosaurs growing up, but yeah. Jurassic World Dominion is uh, coming out on um, uh, in a couple weeks actually. Yeah. Really? Yeah, and like next week I believe Dominion's coming out, and uh, they have uh, released the first few minutes of the movie. Oh. So you can actually watch on YouTube the first few minutes of the movie and. Uh, there's a there's a short called Battle at the Big Rock, okay. and it's like a little ten minute Jurassic World movie yeah. as you so, get ready so for you're, the So you're into you all the yeah, way. All in. Like you, yeah, you're I all love about Jurassic all about Park. It. Is that would you say like that's one of your top like oh when people ask you about top five movies like that's that's up there hands down my yeah. my my kid I walked my two children my two older children Daniel and Mark Keeter ten and eleven I walked them through we did the entire Jurassic Park movies heading in to wow. what is going to be. Uh, the sixth and final installment of this second. Oh, is this the last one? Like of this be? second with Chris oh, okay. Pratt, yeah. Yeah. right? Chris yeah. Pratt, oh, okay. fantastic yeah. guy, massive mixed martial arts fan. Really, I actually spoke to him just the other day oh, about dope. the movie wow. and told him how excited I am about watching it. But he did three now. Wow! And obviously they did the first three. But again, to your point earlier, where you mm -hmm. say they brought everybody back, mm -hmm. the original cast is going to be in the new the, Jurassic Park. Yeah. Now is that a spoiler? Or is that like that? no, 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 that's out there. Yeah, oh, that's out, out there. there. Okay. Yeah. Well, I feel like it would have been. It probably would have meant more if, if they hadn't even released that info. Because then, then you're in vibes. there and you're like, just like this, just like <laughs> yeah. this morning, you're like, yeah. Yeah, I remember them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, they yeah. they blew it. Now I'm playing. Yeah, you're right. That's actually no. true. Like, but now you have something to look forward to, though. Yeah. You know, you're going into it knowing that oh, I'm going to see the cast that I watched when I was young. <laughs> so I'm leaving for Singapore, yeah. and uh, um, that's why I wanted to catch you before. But the movie comes out while I'm there. Oh, okay. so here's my dilemma: Sure, do I watch or do I wait to watch with my children? Oh. Is it unfair, Fred, if I watch it and don't tell my kids that I've oh. seen it? I think you're going to wait for the kids. <laughs> yeah. I got to wait for the kids, right? Yeah. You got to wait for the kids. DC, this is this Jurassic Park now. This, if it was like, I don't know, some rated R, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should yeah. be watching. Go ahead. So Jurassic but, Park, something that I've gotten them all built up to. You built them up. You had them watch all the other ones. You got to watch it with them. Yeah. Are you a spoiler type guy in the movies? I'm. I'm not. I want. I actually want to be able to enjoy the the full experience and 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 see it all happen before my eyes. And I think I think the Jurassic Park. That's another one that where the special effects now that they got going, like it's it's more of like a yeah. Like yeah. It's it's crazy like what they can do now. So yeah. I'm old. So like when the first one came out, like I was a kid and I was like, "Oh Whoa, my God, dinosaurs. they're real!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck, can't go to sleep at night because of the Tyrannosaurus <laughs> right. Rex. Yeah. Like just scary, right? For sure. Like it's scary. For yeah. sure, yeah. yeah. But that's one that's gonna be a uh, very big coming up this summer. Obviously, there's a whole bunch of other kid movies and everything. But Fred, we gotta kind of pivot a little bit, go to something different, fighting. Because I talked to you about football, yeah. and we also obviously we gotta speak about fighting. What's For your sure. What's your history with the sport, mixed martial arts, the UFC, Bellator, 1FC, and all the companies that are out there right now? Yeah, uh, just like we talked about before a little bit, um, it was something that growing up, it wasn't really part of our household. You know, my mother, she big anti-fighting, you know, yeah. didn't, didn't want us around it, didn't want us watching it. Yeah. So, of course, what, what happens when you get older? You go, you go gravitate towards the thing that you didn't, yep. have, you didn't have around you, right? Not to say that I'm gravitating towards fighting people, but, like, I gravitated towards – towards watching um, and mm -hmm. really studying it mm -hmm. and having an appreciation for it and what you yep. guys what you guys put yourselves through and and locking yourselves in that cage and, and you know really uh, getting to it so I mean I, I respect the heck out of all the fighters out there that do this because um, it's not for the weak hearted 
It's not. It's not yeah. at all. I didn't do it. Look at me. I, <laughs> right. Absolutely not. Listen, I play football. Like, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a violent game. Football is so violent, it's bro. A, like, it's a violent game. It, it was much more violent back in the day, though. Like, it they, was. They've made it, yeah. you know, It's much. safer, but the sounds that it makes when those dudes get off the line, it's Don't, sickening. People people think, like, oh, they'll, they'll talk about, oh, it's not like the old days. But trust me, it's just it's still a very physical, violent sport, no matter what. And I um, think it's when you're close. Right. Like, right, if you're on the sideline watching. Yeah. Or if you're, like, in that first row at, at yeah. the, the stadium and you hear, it's, it's a it's a. Why song. do you think, yeah. why do people people love watching football, love watching UFC fights, love watching boxing? They like the car crash. They love the car crash. Yeah. And they, they know that they, they will never put themselves in that situation. They, mm-hmm. They'd rather watch somebody else do it. Do you have a favorite mm-hmm. fighter right now? Um, Don't say Conor McGregor. <laughs> you watch say Conor McGregor, aren't you? <laughs> I'm a big Conor McGregor <laughs> fan. I am. I know. I know. You know my guy Nate Diaz. He's yeah, he's a man. Niner, big Niner fan. You know that, that's my guy too. Uh, hopefully, I can, I can meet him one day. That'd be that'd be dope. But um, you know, I don't, I'm I'm kind of just watching. You know, I don't I don't I don't have like a specific fighter. I'm like, that's my guy right now. So, well, you know, fighting and football and sport resembles each other a bit, right? Because there's that nervousness, yeah. right? When we fight for it, and I, I tell everybody this, don't matter if there's 20,000 in there, mm-hmm. 10,000 there, 50 people, you, I can hear that pin drop when they lock that cage. Sure, yeah. Is there a moment in football where you're like, Bruh. And, and, and is there a guy where like the old wow was, when that guy starts <laughs> to come, you're like, okay, here comes the shit. Like, is there a guy, a running back in the NFL is there is there a running back in the NFL that's that like, you go like this the, the show I, when I know it's I got I got to make sure I come correct this, mm-hmm. this this time around. Um I mean there's there's yeah. ton there's yeah. tons of great running backs in the league, right? I mean I was I was actually looking forward to playing the Titans last year cuz Derrick Henry is a yeah. beast. Like, He's so like, big. Huge like explosive yeah. fast, got the nasty stiff arm. I was looking forward to playing it, competing against him, but he got the foot injury. Um, but there's there's a ton of great running back. I can name I can start naming guys. Left tell right tell me what makes Alvin Kamara so special. That's crazy. I was about to say Dalvin Cook. <laughs> <laughs> tell me what makes Alvin Kamara so special. The the shifty. Abil- the, sh- the shiftiness, the balance. Um, you know, he does things that are kind of like you kind of scratch your head. You're like, wait a minute, how do you do that? Like, because he he makes things look a little too easy. Like when he's out there, he'll slip guys, and it, you know, and it's like. How's he doing that? He's mm-hmm. playing. It looks like he's playing backyard football, right? Against grown men who are also out there making making money, right? Yeah. Um, he can do all. He can do everything in, in terms of running the football, pass game. Um, he's one of the best. For but sure. you're making it look easy as an all pro <laughs> linebacker. I do. When I you am. when you started to when you as as we start to kind of wrap up here, when you started to get into the NFL, did you think that this is what it would look like? And, you know, you're picked in the third round. Mm-hmm. You now consider one of the top 100 players in the entire game. Mm-hmm. You are signing record-breaking contracts. You're mm-hmm. all pro. I saw you at the draft recently hanging out, you yeah, know, right, doing yeah. meet and greets yeah. and everything. Yeah, like, for sure. Did you think that this is what life looked like for you? Because I know self-belief is one thing. Sure. Right? But a true understanding of what everything is going to be is another. Yeah. No, I not at all, I wouldn't say. Um, you know, when I came into the NFL, you mentioned third round draft pick. I never really had anybody in my life that that did something, you know, at this level, like played a professional sport, mm-hmm. you know, did something at the highest level. Um, I came in with just, you know, big dreams, aspirations to to want to be the best. Like that's always what I've always like my mindset has been mm-hmm. like be the best no matter what. And so I just kind of kept my head down and then I find that I'm working, I'm working. And all of a sudden I look up and I see, I start to see the fruits of my labor. Yeah. Right. Um, but I think the biggest thing is just continuing to keep that head kind of, you know, you don't want to pop the head all the way up because yep. then you, you get comfortable. It. Boom. You get comfortable. Yeah. You know, they, you, you, remember what, you know, remember the great champ, uh, the great champion. Uh, I'm drawing a blank now. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry, the great champion Marvin Hagler once said, "It's very mm. difficult to get up and run those miles when you're sleeping on satin sheets." Wow! Yeah. Right? He yeah. said that back in the '70s. That's fast, right? though. It, it's true. It is. When you start to take note of all that you've done, yeah. you start. Ah, I'm gonna relax a little For bit. For sure. D'Amico Ryan's is your defensive coordinator, 37 years old, yeah. very young, yeah, uh, in, in the game. But you look at him as a mentor. Mm-hmm. The NBA just hired uh, Darvin Ham as the coach of the Lakers. 
Now 50% of the coaches in the NBA are black. Wow. The diversity that the... 50% of the head coaches. 50% yeah. of the head coaches wow, in the NBA now are black. Right? That's outstanding. It's outstanding. Yeah. And when you speak of diversity, as a guy that has multiple different parts to who he is, um, how does looking at a young man like that in that position inspire you? And also, how does that uh, make you feel as if in regards to the NFL at some point following that lead because so many athletes only, I mean, the NBA was like 70% black with only yeah. a few head coaches. Yeah. The NFL is a, a lot of black and, and, and uh, uh, a- athletes of color. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. How do you feel about where the NFL is going right now? Well, yeah, I think, I think that just makes sense in my, in my mind, at least like you mentioned in, that I didn't know that 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 was the stat. The yeah, that's uh, that's that's awesome. I, 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 like I, I majority... work for ESPN. You know, I do <laughs> yeah, this shit. Right. <laughs> that's dope. I mean, you mentioned the majority of, of of these leagues. You know, NBA, NFL, are you know people of color. Um, you know, and so having a coach that you could you, that you you kind of see that kind of I guess can relate in that way. Mm-hmm. Not to not to say that the you know people like Kyle Shanahan to me, I have the most respect for, love him to death. Um, D'Amico Ryan's. You mentioned that I I could talk all day about D'Amico. That that guy I owe everything to him because of what he's developed me into. You mm-hmm. know I, I would not be the player I am without him. Um, you know and he he will be a head coach soon. And you know the NFL the NFL is trending in the right direction. Um, you know maybe one day we'll be able to say the same thing. You know, like fifty percent. Um, but yeah, I mean that's that's dope. It, it it makes me think like one day I could be in that same position if if that's something that I chose uh, to do. Um, you know, the sky's the limit, or there is no limit. You know, right. you can you can go shoot past the stars if you want. As you close it out, how old those Niners looking next year? Outstanding. Hey, you know, hey, we're, give we're, me a prediction. Super Bowl champs. Really? Like yeah. Super eleven and eleven and six. Super Bowl champs. What, what's the, let's see. There's games seventeen play? games now. We play seventeen. They added yeah. y'all another one. Seventeen and zero. Seven. Come on, man. <laughs> we'll be the first See, in the shit I'm talking about. <laughs> this is why you can't talk to anyone that plays for the Niners because they go off the deep end. Right. Hey, thank right. you so much, Fred, yes, sir, man. Yeah, You've I been so you, man. good no with doubt. your time, man. No we doubt. really appreciate, appreciate it. No doubt. Guys, like, subscribe. Don't follow the Niners. Follow my man, Fred Warner, all pro it. linebacker. Yes, even better human being. Appreciate it. This is multifaceted. Thank you guys for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Every Friday. 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 Pacific. You will get a brand new episode. And how about my man Fred Warner? All into the Marvel Universe. Until next time, peace.